So let's talk about some of the shortcomings that such a setup might present. <coughs> So let's talk about some of the shortcomings that such a setup might present. <clears throat> to use it as a desktop, obviously you can hear the noise. Now it's not earth shattering or it's not deafening, but it is loud. And probably at some point I will put this into a rack and just run KVM cables to control it if I want to run it as a Mac Pro, right? But there's a few things that are not, that are like, let's just say, shortcoming. It only has three USB ports, two in the back, one in the front. So it really would behoove you to get a, in this case, it's a seven port USB, and I'll have a link to all of these items down below. You can use any keyboard, but I, I had a spare external Mac keyboard, which works fine but other keyboards should work fine as well I actually haven't tested it that's something I will test the other shortcoming is audio there's no sound built in but there's a solution for that and I'll have links for these products down below um, this is a USB sound card which works with OSX and maybe for your Hackintosh people you might think about this as well for sound seven or eight bucks plus shipping. And I found another one for 99 cents. It's not as nice as this. It doesn't have the extra features, but it, it works. Um, but I bought this because I knew this was guaranteed to work. And again, I'll have a link for the other one, 99 cent one. Basically just has microphone and speaker jack, and it works. This device here is about $5 and free shipping from Hong Kong. Other thing it doesn't have that you might want is Wi-Fi. And this card here, I've used on my Hackintosh, and it's, it works here as well. It's probably, they say it's the world's smallest nano Wi-Fi, and you can see it is on, and it's working. It comes with drivers that you could download from the internet. Again, I'll have a link to that below. And I've seen this on eBay for around 12 bucks plus shipping. I think I bought it here in Poland for about $20. Roughly roughly $20 at a, at a retail store. So, I don't know if I've covered everything, but, oh! One important thing that you have to recognize is how we installed this operating system on this machine. This machine, the 2008 server, is no longer supported by Apple. And <laughs>